veteran guardians and new light players this is delta 115 and welcome to act two of episode echoes available this week so i thought there's going to be like an introduction of how it's going to start you know how act one started for us when you log into your characters but apparently not so i guess to start it off you have to be here at the tower and talk to Ikara Ray, as you can see the icon above. I have a feeling there's going to be some dialogue or cinematics, so I'm going to mute my mic ah, and let you guys listen. To worry about. Good. The witness is dead. There was no predicting what would come next. But this is what we know. When the witness fell, the Black Fleet's eons of salvation and death surged. Its darkness merged with the Traveler's light, formed first into memory, and then into shape. This impossible object, this echo of the fleet's victims, holds immense power. And it was left for anyone to find. The echo grants the ability to compel. To control. To command. And with it, the Conductor has the potential to turn their threat into our annihilation. Okay, yeah, so after the cinematic, you'll automatically spawn here, depends on your platforms. So, once you're back here, talk to Ikora Ray again. Genocide. Thousands of civilizations across the universe, all visited by the Black Fleet. All lost to the violence of the final shape. That's where this echo comes from. At least, that's our theory. Reports from the Pale Heart. Readings on the valence emanating from the Traveler. Everything we faced when we stared down the Witness and broke its fleet. At first, we didn't know what to call them. But Echo seemed apt. Memories from the victims of the pyramids, held by the darkness. Then coalesced by the light, into artifacts as sharp and fatal as their pain. If darkness is memory, and light is form, what else could they be? But there's still so much we don't know. Is this the only one? What forgotten people gave form to this echo? What was their final cry at their end? For control? A means to turn back their oppressors? My Hidden will keep searching for whatever answers the Witness's death can give us. Hopefully they number more than the questions it left behind. But we need to stop the Conductor and secure the echo. Guardian, descend into Nessus. Massive amounts of Radiolaria have been diverted beneath the planet's crust. We need to find out what the Vex are building there. Okay. So, feel free to pause the video if you want to uh, read this dialogue that Ikara Ray has spoken to us. But for now, I'm going to accept it. And we're going to be doing... Um, a rising Chorus Act 2 as we already finish a quest that was already given to us by basically watching the cinematics and talking to Ikora. But now let's go pick up this quest. What's our first step? Complete Battleground Delve on Nessus. Ooh, oh yeah, that's right. Bungie had introduced new battlegrounds. Where can we find that? First of all, let's mark this down before I forget. Okay, uh, Battlegrounds, it should be on Nessus, obviously. 
Here it is. Let's start. It is at the conductor's instruction, but we do not know the reason why. There is a 99.9 .9 repeating percent chance that the reason is nefarious in nature. Please investigate. House Dusk is making a move against the bags. Now we must fight two enemies. And, Captain, watch out for the fallen. Their reasons are probably nefarious too. Dusk Splicers have put up a barrier. Use their data against them. Okay, so first of all, I wasn't expecting a new destination for our jump ship. Second of all, this is a good way to start off the assume the fallen here are searching for the echo for themselves it doesn't take a vex simulation to know that would be really bad <laughs> they secure it it will be as disastrous as the conductor we cannot allow their interference to persist mm -hmm. oh they destroyed the plant or it? oh they added that too nice That's very convenient. Oh, I'm thinking the up is much easier too. retroactive flow of radiolaria caused by Vex time manipulation. That it's all been drained now is worrying. Where is it all going? I like how they put in the sample collecting in this battleground. Now a lot of people are probably going to go after this battleground rather than the uh, reached executable activity.
This bit reminds me of Garden of Salvation. Oh. Oh. You'll need to crush the fallen captain to free the big fag. They cannot be allowed to capture Vag's technology. Oh, snap. Well, this is going to quickly. Okay, so now that we finish the sh battleground, our next step is to find some mutated code, which I'll need to figure out where. I hate to see you go, but I'd also hate to watch the Vex trap you in a time box forever. Data threshold re rendering assistance. Seven. There we go. Ooh. Now I can return back to hell. All right, we are at the helm, so let's go and talk to Failsafe. Or activate the protocol. What did it do? Looks like we had like a few things added around here. Nice. Okay. Let's go talk to Failsafe now. Oh, this is the captain's log. Here we go. Uh, Failsafe's lights gleam with excitement as you approach. The radio light sampler feels heavy in your hands, full of collected samples. You're back, and with samples, I have performed a full system upgrade, and I am ready for action, Captain. Nothing can stop us now, not even a bug, which I mentioned because there was one. Failsafe lowers her voice, like a real bug. It crawled into the mainframe. Patched the sucker right out. She offers you her patch notes. Failsafe 2.1 patch notes. Upgraded bug <laughs> exterminated. <laughs> Premium research base installed. Tuned radiolite sampler created. Favorite colors chosen. Processing power increased by 16.666665%. Pride in shared accomplishments increased by 70%. Alright. So now we got this new sampler. Let's go and uh, take it. Yeah, so along with that, we have a specimen ID quest. Which is NES 004, so we'll take that as well. Why not? So let's read this quickly. You place the specimen into Failsafe's newly installed research bay. While Failsafe admires her new and improved setup, after a brief analysis, 
failsafe detects and decrypts a signal key transmitted from the new specimen. Vex portal connection key 4E495341. Do me a solid and investigate that, Captain. I would like to take myself for a spin. This one's a five-step quest. And don't worry about it, we will do that, um, what's it called, that specimen quest later on. So it's not going anywhere. What's this? Oh, they kind of made some color for this one. Don't know why. Um, sorry, I lost track. So, what's our next step? Complete battleground conduit. Alright, so we have to do a second battleground. Should be on Nessus, obviously. Here it is. Let's go start. Alright, we're in. Let's go and delve deeper. I think this is the first one, but we're continuing. So I'm uh, calculating the volume of radiolaria running through these tubes. It is about 20 million cubic miles. Per wow. hour. That's a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. You need to find out where it's going. Follow the flow, Guardian. It's all moving somewhere, and the conductor is controlling it. Uh huh. Man, I am getting, like, Garden Salvation vibes here. And a little bit of Vault of Glass vibes. Or whatever Vex related strike vibes. This is awesome. Well, now the Cabal are involved. The Cabal. Chalice is Cabal. Admit it's pretty fun. A lot of enemies. This type of enemy, but not that bad. Oh, nice. The Shadow Legion are an unnecessary complication. Cabal Scions have always had a keen interest in Vex technology, and the Echo is a strong incentive. We crush them on Neptune. We crush them here. Whatever it takes to keep the Echo out of their hands. Nice, more samples. I'm gonna grab those. These are new samples. Nice. Oh, good shot, Hunter. Holy snokes! What massive hallways or pathways, whatever you call them. This is huge. Jeez Louise. Nice sample, I'll take that.
hope the fail safe is not a No, it's probably my imagination. Access granted. Good luck, Captain. Nice. Thank you, failsafe. There's another planetary pest in there. Oh, that's a lot. Wow. Look at all these radiolaria. It fills the planet like a, a, a water balloon. What does the conductor want with it? If the conductor can control the flow of radiolaria here, it means they can control the Vex on Nessus. Spreading it throughout the system would mean the conductor could bring more collectives under their yoke. Oh, yeah, I can imagine that. Not only the soul devices, but other ones. Precursors, descendants. I can't remember the other ones. Uh, the axis mines. I forgot the rest of the best types. Did they just. Whoa! That kind of reminds me of Dead Space. Dead Space 3, I mean. Whoa. That is massive. Now this is a battleground. Holy snap. Let's go. to admit, Bungie, you all done yourselves. And I saw a bus there. I this Vex Force facilitates the movement of Radiolaria through the planet. Please destroy them. Blindly will take precious time. There has to be a faster way. The radial area here may contain abnormalities compared to the samples I have collected over my centuries of isolation. I've had a long time to study this stuff. Bring some back, and I'll figure out what to do. Failsafe, you need to know. If we succeed, it'll be because of your hard work here. That is kind of you to say. However, if we fail, I abdicate all responsibility and will strike my involvement from our records. See you back at the helm, Captain. Okay, so now that we finished that battleground, 
Our next objective is to listen to a message at the helm. Meaning, we have to speak to failsafe. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the helm. Let's go and talk to failsafe. Guardian, I hear that you are hard at work on Nessus, following the Echo and the Conductor. I know you do this in part for me, but I do not know if I am worth the trouble. I was pulled through Nessus like a toy on a string. The Conductor's words still echo in my mind. A copy of a copy of a copy. Osiris pushed through time to find his Saint-14. He said he was careful, but he reached blindly, and he pulled out only me. And now, I live a life that does not belong to me. I am something left over from a broken timeline. A remainder. The conductor whispered I should be thrown away. A solution as simple as correcting an error. And maybe that would... I do not know what to think anymore. Okay, I wasn't expecting a message from Saint-14, but yeah, I kind of feel his pain though. Well, I don't know what the conductor did to him, but he's still tormented by that. Anyways, feel free to pause the video if you want to read this uh, message that Saint-14 has left for us. But for now, I'm going to pick up my reward, but let me just clear out my inventory real quick. I forgot to clean it out from my previous encounter. Nice. There we go. Is that the end? Let me just double check. Failsafe is processing the data you have gathered in an attempt to locate a mysterious conductor. She will contact you when she has a new theory. Okay, so... I thought this was all in one go. Guess not. So that concludes the first few steps of a rising chorus act two, ladies and gentlemen. Now before uh, we move on, I believe we have a radio message. Yes, we do. We have a radio message uh, that will be available every weekly reset. So I'm going to mute my mic and let you guys hear it. You're only doing this to hurt yourself and I will not be a part of it. Osiris, answer the question I need to know. It doesn't matter. Not like this. It matters to me, please. How did I first tell you that I loved you? Saints. <sighs> you had asked me for some things, uh, some tactical report. Of the... I gave it to you. And you thanked me, and... And you said that you loved me. You said it as if you had already said it a thousand times before. I, I was not ready to say it in return, but... It was not long until I was. That is not... I do not remember it this way. I, that is not what happened in my... My simulation. We were together in the tower overlooking the city and talking about something small and I said what I felt in that moment and my Osiris did not hesitate to say the same your Osiris Saint you love me it doesn't matter how it or, or where that began not in such fine detail Saint So now that the first few steps of a rising course act 2 are done and we have to wait for the next few steps in the next weekly reset 
we will now move on to another quest that we picked up earlier called Specimen ID NES004. This specimen is modified passcode encryption tech. Open echo chests at the end of episode Echo's activities in the helm to decrypt the algorithm. So I don't know how many chests we're going to open, but uh, we'll find out. The Shadow Legion presence on Nessus doesn't surprise me. After Callus was defeated, its forces served the Witness and its disciples. But when it died, they were leaderless. Plenty of Cabal factions have jumped at the chance to control them. Their thoughtless clones made for war. And as loyal as you might expect. I'm sure we'll soon find out who's taken over. Alright, let me give you guys a recap of what just happened. So you guys have a better understanding about the step. So... The first step of opening echo chests at the end of episode echoes you have to open five so meaning you have to complete five activities of echoes to open five echo chests pretty much it so if you open one chest you get 22 percent the second chest gives you another 22 gives you 44 percent the third one gives you 67 percent um so I don't know why I jumped to that. Then the fourth one gives you 89% and then the final one it just gives you the rest. So five echo chests. That's pretty much it. So our next step is the algorithm can only be unlocked with a unique energy signature. Failsafe can replicate this signature by focusing echo engrams into echo gear in the helm. So okay. Uh, good news is I got plenty of uh, echo engram, so let's go and do that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the helm. Let's go finish our second step. So, as the second step suggested, we need to focus, um, you know, echo gear. So, actually, let me grab this. So, we're gonna go here. Um, I think it's armor. But well, let's see. So, um, I got like 67 grams. So let's let's try a weapon first. See if it uh, focuses. Uh, let's try. Let's try this first. Um, did it progress? Okay, yeah, it did. All right. So weapons do work. So. I'm just going to grab one each, so I'm going to grab the auto, hand cannon, uh, rocket, there we go. So now our next step is this unique specimen has additional layers of encryption. Oh, it's gone. Hold on. This unique specimen has additional layers of encryption that are particularly tough to decipher or decrypt. Failsafe requires more ambient data from interactions with Vex. Secure extracted data for failsafe in the breach executable activity and fight your way through Echo's battlegrounds. Echo's uh, activities can be launched from the helm. Okay. So what it's saying is we're going to need to do either the Echo's Battlegrounds and the Breach Executable Activities for this. So I take it that the powerful combatants are from the Battlegrounds and the extracted data is from the Breach Executable. Okay. I can speculate. 
This entity is controlling the Vex, but also introducing variety and individuality among them. They aren't a new Vex. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to be finished that quickly. I was planning to go to Breach Executable, but turns out I finished both objectives at once. Okay. So, yeah, that didn't make any sense about the extracted data. Okay. So what I did was I just played one um, Echo Battleground, and at the end of the mission, you know where you deposit that radiolite stuff? Apparently, it counted as extracted data. Now, I could be wrong, but uh, give it a try, though. If not, go play the Breach Executable for this. Alright, our next step is to speak to Failsafe. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the helm. So let's go and talk to Failsafe. You found the other Hydra, eh, Captain? Nice. These duplicate Vex signatures have been popping up all over Nessus, sometimes on totally different frames. I wonder if they are replicating in batches to test specific adaptations. Hmm, maybe. All right, fail safety seeker for you to admire the results of her work. These duplicate Vex signatures have been popping up all over Nessus. Okay, she said that already. Uh, specimen name, Mirror Encrypted Hydra Tail. Report summary. The structure of this tail is encoded to grant a Hydra access to Vex infrastructure by broadcasting a signal to nearby receivers. Research instrument fabricated. Armor Reputation Booster. Reputation earned through the seasonal armor perk is increased by 100%. Okay. So we got our upgrade. Which is this now. So. Okay. Where do we put the tail? Because that's our final step. Oh, here. It's on the left, is it? Yep. Here we go. And that concludes uh, Specimen ID NES004. And that's the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and check out my YouTube channel for the latest Destiny 2 and other gaming content. And also, if you want to get notified and for extra content, you can check out my socials, which the links will be down in the description box below. That is all, my fellow Guardians. This is Delta115, signing out.